Meghan Markle and Harry face petition to remove pound 20 million taxpayer funded security. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's security costs should not be paid for by Britons, a UK taxpayer said as she launched a new petition. A British taxpayer believes it is completely undemocratic to ask people living in the UK to pay for the security costs of the Sussexes. And, in a bid to prevent the Houses of Parliament from agreeing to fork out millions of pounds in security, she has launched a petition in the hope it will lead to a public debate. British taxpayer Claire told Express.co.uk, in light of the Canadian government announcing they will not pay for the security of Meghan, Harry and their son, it is clear that it is expected their estimated security costs of £20 million a year is to fall on UK taxpayers. This is completely undemocratic. I have been compelled to start a petition for the people of the UK objecting to paying for their global security costs in the hope this will lead to a public debate and ultimately prevent the House of Commons and the House of Lords from doing so. The public need a platform to express their opinion on this issue. The Britain believes Meghan and Harry, after choosing to step down as full-time working royals and move abroad, have given up the right to a 24-hour protection paid for by private citizens. She continued, the couple have made their choice to step back from royal duties, and to live abroad and travel globally to achieve financial independence. It is, therefore, their own responsibility to provide their own security, not the responsibility of the UK taxpayers. If they cannot afford such security, as they have become accustomed to as royals, then this is a ramification of becoming private citizens, and they will need to economize and compromise accordingly, as every person has to do. They need to learn they have to earn their way of life, they are not entitled to it from the taxpayers of the UK just because Harry was born a prince over 35 years ago. The petition was published Saturday morning and has a goal set of 1,000 signatures. Express.co.uk has contacted Buckingham Palace for comment. This comes a few days after the Canadian government announced the Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCPM, will no longer provide protection for Meghan, Harry and their son Archie Harrison after they step down as senior royals on March 31. A spokesperson for Canada's Public Safety Minister Bill Blair said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex choosing to relocate to Canada on a part-time basis presented our government with a unique and unprecedented set of circumstances. The RCMP has been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. As the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since October 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. There has been no official comment regarding who is now expected to foot the bill for the security, but the Canadian statement led many to think the expenses would fall back on the UK shoulders. Despite having decided to step back as senior royals to be able to live abroad and pursue private ventures, Meghan and Harry continue to be royals and retain their his slasher royal highness styles, as stated by Buckingham Palace in mid-January. The palace added at the time it was not commenting on security arrangements. Similarly, the Metropolitan Police said at the time they were not discussing matters of security. In their latest statement published on SussexRoyal.com, however, Meghan and Prince Harry briefly spoke about security, saying, It is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess' own independent profile, and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. No further details can be shared as this is classified information for safety reasons.